This is Chuck Schaefer of HCMTV, and I am joined by Larry Denovan, Senior Vice President of Products and Technology for Ceridian. Larry, thank you for joining me today. My pleasure. Larry, you have been in the HCM industry for about 25 years, and I'd like to draw upon that experience and get some perspective. Can you share with me what you think are the most influential or disruptive technologies that have changed this industry and put us where we are today? Yeah, my pleasure. It's, a, it's an interesting story, in fact, um, having been around as long as I have and gotten my first start in my early 20s working for a, a relatively small payroll HR software company. Um, it, it, the, the events and the kind of the disruptive technologies that have hit us over time uh, have been very similar in terms of how they've affected the industry, even though the actual elements have actually been quite different. So if you look back to the early 90s, you know, the, the original graphical user interface, um, you know, coined by PeopleSoft, completely changed the market. And I was one of those guys working for a company that got completely surprised by that. Um, and then we watched client server evolve into, you know, ERP uh, as organizations tried to drive their whole platforms tied to Y2K and the pressures of modernizing those platforms. And then really, as, you, as you've seen, you know, things evolve in the last five to ten years, clearly, you know, the game has been about uh, the cloud first and foremost as the differentiating technology framework. And then, of course, as the applications have evolved, we've watched uh, us go from a much more transactionally oriented view of the world to one which is very focused on talent, attempting to drive and, and get strategic benefit. Uh, and, and now, of course, we're, we're deep into social and, and mobile, and that's you know, certainly going to be the buzzword that dominates over the next several years. Larry, Ceridian has a, a very diverse or broad customer base. But can you help me understand the Ceridian target market or prospect profile so that if a company is looking at HR technology, they can self-identify and know that they should be talking to Ceridian? Yeah, sure. Well, first of all, it, it, it's, a, it's an interesting question because Ceridian has over 100,000 customers and we've been in this business for over half a, de uh, half a century. So, uh, you know, as, as companies, you know, we've been one of the ones that have endured a, in a very broad way. So as a result, of course, you know, we have a very wide customer base. But certainly, um, you know, the majority of our customers, um, depending on the country, um, can range from as small as 20 to 30 employees. Um, and, and we have small business solutions that are targeted at that. Um, but really our sweet spot is in the 1,000 to 15,000 range. Although, uh, you know, as we're starting to drive some of our, our newer product initiatives, you'll see us even go higher. You know, uh, we're, we're working with uh, uh, some of the folks at the event this week uh, from Aeropostal who have 40,000 employees. So it's a pretty broad range. Okay. Ceridian's day force solution is making an assertive push to the cloud. Can you tell me what's behind this push and how is Dayforce being received or adopted in the customer marketplace? Sure. Well, first of all, I think there's two important dimensions to this. You know, as I said, 100,000 customers, you know, 50 plus years in business. You know, an important part of our work is how we create reasons for those customers to stay with us. And as I talk to customers who have worked with us for 10, 20, sometimes even 30 years, uh, you know, obviously the question on their minds is, you know, what, what's, what's the platform for the future? Where do we need to go? And uh, when we acquired Dayforce earlier this year, that was really all about kind of taking Ceridian into that next uh, next uh, evolution of its of its technology and and, and clearly there, there are a million reasons why the cloud is just the natural way to go you know you can you can make all your all the arguments you want around kind of the marketing hype around it but the reality is for software companies like ours it creates a phenomenally productive environment to deliver a lot of functionality very quickly at a low cost and of course then the real story is then how we pass that on to customers in the form of you know, lower cost of ownership, you know, more flexible uh, architectures, the ability to drive that work um, for large volumes at, at a much lower incremental cost. And so it's just a natural, you know, kind of evolution of, of, of the way technology is, you know, setting us up for success for the future. And it's just something that we've embraced because it, it you know, it's almost, it's almost de facto uh, in terms of the way platforms are gonna be architected and deployed in the future. And beyond the benefits of cloud itself, do you think that having a cloud HCM solution changes the Ceridian target market? For, for example, does this allow small and mid-sized businesses a, give them a path to more easily procure, deploy, and consume HCM technology? Well, you know, it's, it's interesting because the cloud in and of itself, no. 
But if, if you ask questions, for example, with respect to Ceridian of what we've tried to do to leverage what we've built in the cloud, um, the key story there is the way in which we've created a single application for both what we call time and pay, which is effectively workforce management, payroll, and core HCM. And so that combination deployed in the cloud is really what changes the game. So that organizations today that have spent you know, hours trying to manage payroll processes, whether it's for 100 employees or 10,000 employees, you know, can now do that in real time at a fraction of the effort. Um, that's all about the, the leveraging the cloud to build this next generation platform. So as a result, the combination of the, the application approach along with the ability of the cloud to scale which is also a testament to our, our good development methodologies, um, we actually can have a much broader, broader target market. You know, two of the disruptive technologies you mentioned in the beginning of our conversation are social media and mobile. How is Ceridian using social and mobile to add value to HCM technology? Yeah, I, I think mobile is certainly more mature, and it, certainly in terms of the market and the way we're using it. We've deployed mobile applications across our entire portfolio. So within Dayforce HCM, uh, you know, e everything is driven mobile. And I, and I think that's uh, a, a huge opportunity. A, a great example of that is with some of our retail clients where they have 15, 16, 18 year old kids who just insist that they be, be allowed to interact with you, you know, through their mobile device. And the tools we've built for shift bidding and, and shift exchanging and um, punch in, punch out, all driven off of the mobile device. Uh, have been hugely powerful, not only because they're cost efficient, but they drive adoption in a very accelerated fashion. Um, same thing is true in our, work, in our, in our LifeWorks portfolio, uh, where we're launching mobile applications where employees can go get access to those counseling and other, um, uh, uh, other HR services through the mobile device. And for our customers that use our flexible spending account administration tools, same story, go check the status of your reimbursement, be able to scan a receipt with your phone and submit it, that sort of thing. I, I think social, on the other hand, is still really early. Um, it's the, 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 the market is shifting. The most interest in social is, in my opinion, driven in talent management. Um, and, and certainly that's all about how do you capture ad hoc interactions. And so as we look at our, our longer term product strategies, that's, that's central. But the reality is until organizations have a better understanding of what their enterprise social media strategies are going to look like, that part of it's still in a little bit of the hypeware phase, in my opinion. And, and you're, you, I haven't seen any great applications of, of social yet, uh, although certainly in other markets like uh, CRM, uh, you know, there's, there's, that, that's matured considerably further. It'll be, it'll be a few years here. And I think also the real question will be, how are those enterprise decisions get, get made? Because typically HR would not be the driver um, for those activities. So the question will be, will, will HR go find point solutions to address and add, add value to that functionality, or will it come from a more classic corporate uh, IT strategy? And the jury's very much out on that. Based on uh, your vast experience in this industry, if we look forward just a few years, how do you expect the HCM technology industry will change or evolve? Well, I think that, you know, that. I, I've been around for too long, so I can recognize that there are these kind of 10-year cycles. And so, so if you look at where we've come over the last 20 years, I, I think you're going to see, you know, the next 10 years are going to be all about, you know, delivering, you know, in a very robust way on all these things that we have been talking about for the last couple of years, right? I mean, we weren't talking about social two years ago. We were barely talking about mobile three years ago. And, of course, the, the, the market hype, of course, is well ahead of, um, you know, the broad range deployment scenarios that you see. And so certainly what you're going to see over the next 10 years is the, is the broad proliferation of cloud-based computing. All of those systems that were bought in the 80s, 90s, and, and, and right over the Y2K cycle are going to go through replacement cycles, and we're going to just see mass adoption of these solutions in the cloud. And, and we will start, of course, to see some very innovative uses of, of social and mobile because of the fact that those tools in social and mobile, as examples, motivate people to actually use them. Because in the past, we've always had to try to organically create that. Um, but now with these technologies, people are motivated. And of course, the younger generations absolutely insist on being to, able to interact with their organizations that way. So it's, it's also going to be essential to be an employer of choice. Well, with that insight, I think we're at a good break point to conclude our conversation. This is Chuck Schaefer. I've been joined by Larry Donovan, Senior Vice President of Products and Technology for Ceridian. Larry, thank you for joining me today. My pleasure.